guys! Dan Svens here again. When the kids were younger, it's easier to do Easter egg hunts because they enjoy being around other kids. They enjoy the games. But now that they're becoming a teenager, it's a bit tough. I'm too scared of them growing up quickly. I want to still be able to enjoy these like little mini parties that I could enjoy with them as long as I can, as long as they can still enjoy it. Because obviously when they're more grown up, they're not gonna want to do these things anymore. They're gonna have their own plans, you know, go out with their friends. I'm trying to make it more age appropriate for them so that they will actually enjoy it. So there are two parts of the egg hunt. It helps prevent the two kids from fighting with each other or saying that it's unfair. One part will be like a treasure hunt. Like, I will give them a piece of paper with a clue. Sometimes, you know, I actually make it rhyme. I don't know why. It just sounds more like a real clue, you know, if it rhymes. As they grow older and older, I would make the clues harder or more challenging for their particular age. But obviously, I have to make sure that they will be able to get it. Otherwise, it might be too frustrating for them. So I have to gauge or assess the way that they think and they do enjoy that we've been doing that for years they like trying to figure out the mystery the mystery of the missing golden egg <laughs> so those clues will lead them to like a first little egg and this little egg will have like a little treat inside and then another clue for the next egg and then it goes on and on until they get to the real big egg that is actually the main surprise that I have for them. This way, they both get the same amount of stuff, you know, so they don't end up fighting. They will get what I wanted them to get. And it also prevents one from getting the other one's treat because their clue won't lead them there. I got a sticky note pad and lots of different colored pens. I like to make the color of the pen match the person if they have a specific favorite color. Most of the time, I would use that color or whatever color kind of goes with the person's personality. I'm going to hide my son's eggs. Um, I'm going to hide the last egg first. So this, this is the biggest egg that they will receive. So. I've decided to hide it there. And the clue that I'm gonna do needs to be something like, I'm the light that shines when everything goes dark. So there's two, I have two of those. So I'll be like, I'm a twin. Be something that will distinguish which one of those two do it is. Got it. Um, when everything gets dark, I give light. I am the one twin that holds your memories close. This is a lamp. That's why when everything gets dark, I give light. And then, I am the twin, which is there's two of them. But that holds your memories close is because our pictures of our memories are right there beside it compared to the other one. The other one just has my daughter's picture right beside it. <laughs> You can do this computerized as well if you want it to be more fancy. But for me, it's easier for me to do it this way. So I just do it this way. And I just roll it up like the sticky part to um, kind of hold it in place like this. So I put this on the second egg. So I'm only giving them three eggs to find on the scavenger hunt. This is the second egg. That The biggest one is the third egg. And then all I need to do is go and hide this make another clue for that hiding spot put the other clue inside the first egg you'll be surprised at how many hiding spots there are in your house like i put the next egg here and this is my sleeping tea i'm finding it difficult to sleep this really helps me so i have put that in there and my clue for that is this my favorite matches my color for me, you only want one favor to help you sleep after a day's labor. And then I'll put this glue inside this egg. Just throw, just throw one kind in there. And make another glue for this when I hide it. 
and the last one i'm hiding it here this is like our fame frame when they have stuff that they bring from school like projects or drawings and stuff if if i can post them on here i will so the most recent work is this um pillar case that my daughter made <laughs> she likes designer stuff so she decided to like draw them on there And then that last clue, I will just give it to them. And then so I don't get confused who that first clue is for, I put their name on top. That's for my son. The other part of my egg hunt is just a normal egg hunt. You know, you just scatter loads of eggs in the garden and then let them find it. And I think that is still fun. There's something fun about going around looking for eggs. <laughs> I think it's fun. Anyway, I'm gonna make works for everyone and start hiding the eggs in the garden. So, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm Ninja without a name. Don't fall in love.